Before we get into the video, I need you guys to do me a favour. Number one, like the video. Also comment. Let me know your thoughts on the story. David Hunter was scarily efficient and proficient in his profession. The then 41 year old David Hunter, who was originally from Liverpool, was a hitman for hire. Having been born and raised in Liverpool, David had set up home in London where he took on jobs of M. Now David received his order to M pub manager Michael Barr, who was said to have been an associate of the Kinahan gang and it was rumoured he was one of the trigger men behind the Regency Hotel incident that killed Liam Byrne. Now David Hunter had donned on a forensic suit and acted as part of a two-man team who had armed himself with GUNs, four of them, and wore rubber Freddy Krueger masks. On April 25th, 2016, David Hunter and his friend stormed the Sunset House in Dublin's north inner city, roughly 9pm. It was a packed house. They spotted Michael and then pressed the trigger on Michael Barr. The straw bade man was struck seven times with ammo in an astonishing 15 seconds. Five times head, once in leg and once in the shoulder. Michael fell to the ground. A report say Michael was a dissident republic and had been living in Finglas. At the time of the brutal M, he had been enjoying a night off work as a bar manager and had attended a fundraiser. Michael Barr was the third person to be M'd in an act of revenge for the Liam Byrne incident and the attempt on Daniel Kinahan. Now the incident took place, as I said, in front of a packed pub. In the court case, 168 witnesses came forward to explain what they had seen. Most of them thought it was a joke at first. Some of them prayed over Michael when they realised he was not moving. Ironically, David Hunter and the second trigger man, Erman Dumbarton, were caught because they failed to set to light the getaway vehicle, which was a silver LDA-6. Instead, police were able to take evidence and DNA that linked both men to the crime. The car had been dumped at 9.20pm on Walsh Road in Drum Drumcondra, the same day as the M was committed. Now, police arrived at the scene and extinguished the little flames. Inside the car, they found four GUNs, a burner phone which had missed calls on it and the Kruger masks. When David was arrested, he told police he had travelled from Liverpool to Ireland to watch a UB40 concert. The only issue with that was the concert had already taken place. He also explained that his DNA could have been on the mask from a previous trip to Ireland back in February when he had come over in order to steal cars. Now police were able to trace one of the numbers called on the burner phone back to David Hunter. He also had an answer for this saying that someone phoned him because they wanted to buy his red BMW from him, which he brought over to Ireland to sell. Now the police scoffed at the poor excuse and theorised it was more likely that the gang tried to call David Hunter when they couldn't get in touch with him on the burner phone it would have been dropped by mistake. Now in court, David Hunter's solicitors attempted to paint David as a petty car thief that was looking for quick cash and not a contract K that claimed lives for money. Both David Hunter and Ehrman were jailed for life. Condolences. Stay safe. Safe.